breaking news welcome to today's headlines wic advises that uzo dima be removed from office wic advises that uzo dima be removed from office to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as i read to this news As a result of Governor Ho Uzodima's alleged alleged complicity in the July 14, 2022 massacre of 14 young men at Awo Mama in the Oru East local government area, the World Igbo Congress (WIC) has recommended that the Imo State House of Assembly begin impeachment proceedings against him. WIC vowed to petition the parliamentary and constitu- constituents to start the process of recalling them from the assembly both individually and collectively. If the House of Assembly members failed to begin the impeachment proceedings against Uzodima, Prof. Anthony Ejiofo, the WIC's chairman, and Basil Nwukwe, the organization's public relations officer, said in a statement that the WIC was shocked by the killing of 14 young Igbo men in Awomama, Imo State, by government operatives. It also mentioned that the military and state security legend had been responsible for a large portion of the killings in the state. But that now the Ebu Biagul outfit was acting on behalf of the Imo state government under the APC administration. It was noted that many youth particularly in the Olu area, had been killed since Mr. Hope Uzudima was appointed governor of Imo State. It was claimed that until the Uzudima administration, Imo State was the safest and most peaceful state in Nigeria particularly the southeast. However, the massacre of 14 unharmed all residents who were returning from a sacred tradition of marriage in a woman marked the state's darkest hour. The WIC expressed offense at the labeling of the victims as bandit claiming that it is offensive to Igbo sensibilities both at home and in the diaspora. Who have closely observed Mr. Uzodima's style of governance from the beginning to the present and can see it unmistakable and see Igbo stand in everything. According to the World Igbo Congress, Menu Sadegi Etonweya, you are also, you are the head of a group of Indi Igbo, who also happens to be Imolites if you are the governor of Imo State. The demands and desires of those who seek to exterminate the Igbo cannot be orchestrated. We are aware of the coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders, COSIL, ultimatum which calls for the immediate resignation of the governor of Imo State over these killings as well as the immediate dismantling of Ebu Biago, which is, in any case, an ill-motivated and ill-intentioned security organization that does not belong to the Igbo. 
we observed that neither this organization nor its appropriate legal tool of governance was constituted by any legitimate act of the Yumo State Assembly. As a result of Governor Ho Uzodema's alleged complicity in the July 17, 2022 massacre of 14 young men at Awomama in the Oro East local government area, the World Igbo Congress WIC has recommended that the Imo State House of Assembly begin impeachment proceedings against him. WIC vowed to petition the parliamentarian's constituent to start the process of recalling them from the assembly both individually and collectively. If the House of Assembly members failed to begin the impeachment proceedings against Uzodima, Prof. Anthony, a GO4, the WIC's chairman, and Basil Onwokwe, the organization's public relations officer, said in a statement that the, that the WIC was shocked by the killing of 14 young Igbo men in Awomama, Imo State by government operatives. It also mentioned that the military and state security legend had been responsible for a large portion of the killings in the state. But that now, the Ebo Biago outfit was acting on behalf of the Imo State government under the APC administration. It was noted that many youths, particularly in Olu area, had been killed since Mr. Lopuzodima was appointed governor of the state. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section. And let's know what your view.